हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बाउंड्री कंडीशन फॉर मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन बी वेक्टर लेट्स बिगेन टू कैलकुलेट बाउंड्री कंडीशन फॉर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंडक्शन बी वेक्टर वी हैव टू पॉइंट आउट हुई इज मैक्सुएल्स इक्वेशंस रिलेटेड टू दैट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन दैट इज द सेकेंड मैक्सुएल्स इक्वेशंस डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंडक्शन इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू कैलकुलेट द डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंडक्शन वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट let that one be the interface between two medium medium 1 medium 2 and magnetic induction is a vector that uh, in medium 1 and medium 2 how these two are related since it's a vector it has two components one is normal to that of interface another one is tangential to that of interface <coughs> to calculate the maxwell's second equation as divergence of that of magnetic field is equal to zero we have to construct a gaussian surface that is a point on that of medium 1 this is a point on that of medium 2 that one is the interface construct a gaussian surface just like the peel box why we choose gaussian surface as we have to calculate grad dot d vector that uh, gaussian surface s it has the direction n cap it has uh, four surfaces this one as surface s1 above that medium 1 that section as surface s3 this surface s2 again in that of medium 2 that surface s4 magnetic field magnetic induction v vector at medium 1 b1 vector at uh, medium 2 these two are in the same direction b2 vector direction of that uh, magnetic field induction n1 cap the direction n2 cap height of that of gaussian surface or peel box the h be the height now proceed towards the mathematical calculation for boundary condition from maxwell's equations maxwell's equation which maxwell equation is related to magnetic induction b second maxwell's equation that one is grad that b vector is equal to 0 you have to take in 
the volume integral on both sides and that volume is chosen arbitrarily. Therefore, volume integral grad dot b dv is equal to 0. Now, convert that volume integral to that of surface integral by using Gauss divergence theorem using Gauss divergence theorem now that volume integral is changed to surface integral close surface integral s b dot d s is equal to 0 that Gaussian surface s has four number of such surfaces that the close integral now surface s1 magnetic field induction b1 vector n1 cap ds plus a surface s2 magnetic field b2 n2 cap ds and surface s3 let at that a surface S3, the magnetic uh, field induction let B3 and at surface S4, that one is B4, B3 and cap DS plus S4 N4 cap DS is equal to G O. Since the uh, Gaussian surface is very very close to that of interface, means that the uh, edge is tends to zero when that edge height it tends to zero. That the uh, height is tends to zero almost the surface S3 and S4 also tends to 0, then S3, S4 tends to 0. That is why the surface integral on these two will be 0. The existence integrals S1 B1 vector N1 cap DS plus S2 B2 vector N2 cap DS is equal to 0. Or At that of condition, when S tends to 0 and that uh, surface S3 and uh, S4 also tends to 0, in that of situation, that uh, direction of that of surface N cap is equal to N1 cap and N2 cap, but the direction of uh, these unit vectors are opposite to each other. That is why we write s 1 b 1 vector n cap d s minus b 2 vector 
एन कैप डी एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो आ जाए से एन वन कैप नेगेटिव ऑफ एन टू कैप व्हिच इज इक्वल टू दैट एन कैप फ्रॉम दिस टू एस वन एंड एस टू इज इक्वल टू एस टू वेन एस टेन्स टू जीरो दैट्स वाई वी कैन सूज सरफेस इंटीग्रल ओवर दैट ऑफ एस वन बी वन एन कैफ एन कैफ डी एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो सिंस द सर्फेस वी कन्सिडर आर्बिट्रारीली देर फोर बी वन एन कैफ माइनस बी टू एन कैफ इज इक्वल टू जीरो सिंस सर्फेस is chosen arbitrarily arbitrarily that's why b1 n1 cap we call it as the normal component of n1 minus b2 n cap That is the normal component of B two is equal to zero. So B n one is equal to B n two. From that equation, it is clear that the normal component of magnetic induction. On that of interface will be equal. That's why we write that result the normal component. of magnetic induction is continuous across the interface the normal component of magnetic induction is continuous across the interface that uh, explain this equation so here with the help of this speedball exercise we understand boundary condition for magnetic induction b vector by using maxwell's equations this is the calculation and finally we obtain the result that one is the normal component of magnetic induction is continuous across that interface so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you